Hi guys, it's Ray. Today we are starting another um, tumbler. I'm going to use another one of these tiles. I'm going to use this butterfly shaped one. This one is a Main Street Wall Creations decal from Dollar Tree. Again, um, and I'm going to have a lot of cups showing behind this because of the shape. So what I'm going to do, this is from the last cup, is I'm going to do tack it. And I'm going to use Jane Says Mica Powder from Woody's Goodies. It's a shift that I think will play with the colors on here because it kind of goes from a blue to a pinky purple. So I'm going to put two coats of Tacket on the cup first. And I'm going over a black base to get the shift. So I know it looks super pink in here. Trust the process, people. So I'm going to apply one coat, and then when that coat, I can no longer see the white, I will come in and put the second coat on, and about 15 minutes after that, I will come in and do the um, powder. Okay, I am ready to put my mica on this black tumbler basically dry at this point oop definitely tacky That's as much as I'm going to worry about. I should have put gloves on both hands, but it's all right. Now I'm just going to burnish it with my hand to make sure it's all laying flat and, whoops, full coverage. Apparently this is one of my removable arms. Some of my footballs are glued in place and some of them are meant to be swappable. So, I'll make sure the butterfly covers that spot. Let me have a couple little imperfect spots, but I'm not going to be terribly concerned. So, that should be good enough. Oh, I'm touching my mic covered arm on another cup I'm working on. But that's going to go over that. So, I'm going to set that down a minute. Now, I'm going to, oof. This is covered in mica. I'm going to peel this off and flip it over on its own thing. I'm gonna get this glove off because it's covered in mica and gonna transfer to the back. And I'm gonna grab a brush and I'll be right back. Now, I would really like to spray this adhesive on, but um, my sprayer doesn't work on it. So, this is just E6000 spray adhesive. It's actually low odor, it's nowhere near as toxic -y as all of the other E6000s. So I'm just going to kind of pour a little bit on. And I'm going to bring my cup back and get my little stand, I think. I'm going to find that place where I biffed it. I'm going to pick up my butterfly. And then I did get a little bit onto the front where I nudged it a little bit. So this is the scary part.
So I tried to tape the last one down after I um, added a little bit of glue, but I have a bunch of um, elastic hair ties sitting here that should fit around these cups. They're just my fold-over elastics. You've seen me use fold-over elastic for a lot of things. So I'm going to wipe off some of this excess first because I don't want the top of my butterfly sticky. And I'm going to see if I can't start feeding these on. like I'm doing all over my room at this point. So I'm going to let those dry. And I think while I do that, I'm going to go ahead and touch up the tacket. Um, and that really could have been prevented had I did a layer of epoxy like I talked about not doing. <laughs> so I guess, yes, if you're going to try this, go ahead and take that extra step of a thin layer. Like I probably should have. So, But I try these things and I mess them up so you can learn from my mistakes, right? That's what we're doing here. So I'm going to let this whole thing dry. Um, I'll touch up my ends and then when I'm ready to peel my rubber bands and head to epoxy, I'll be back. Okay, so I am ready to move along with this cup. Um, I'm going to pull these off. They've been drying for several hours. My touch up didn't really go all that well, but go figure. Um, but this seems to be pretty darn well tacked down at this point, so I'm just going to go with it. Because again, we are experimenting. It's what I do. Um, I am going to put a little bit of my touch of neon in. I, I just kind of want to see what it does over the, I don't know. But I do have some KS liquid stone mixed up. It's been sitting here for a little bit, so I do need to get moving. I'm going to do this off the turner. Um, just so you can see it a little better. And I'm doing just a thin coat for this first coat. This will get a couple more coats after this that you won't see, but we're just experimenting to see if gluing it on worked better or worse or whatever. So, but so far so good. Other than, you know, I don't really like the way my tacket job worked out. Well, I did until I scratched it, but... I'm going to start around the butterfly. I don't want to over torch it, but mm, 
not really thinking it's well maybe I don't know I think this diamond dust over silver might not be my brightest choice which I really thought it would complement these colors pretty well but um, nope not so much I mean, that was kind of a brushed silver anyways, but it almost looks distressed in spots now. And you can see it when I heat it enough to push the glitter away. So, and, um, again... Not perfect, not my favorite. I wish I'd picked a different diamond dust or done no diamond dust in hindsight. Too late now. Um, and this part was already brushed. It's this part where I'm looking at the diamond dust and not loving it. It's too much over that bright, bright silver. So, I don't hate it, but I don't love it either. I like the diamond dust over this because the color shift in that particular diamond dust pulls those colors anyways but that is it uh, Dollar Tree tile number two um, does look like my bottom two corners are going to try and lift on me a little bit so I'll have to deal with them on the next coat if they don't stick themselves back down but that's it. Everything else is pretty tight. So, uh, again, if you've been inspired to try one of these, um, my way is not necessarily the best way because I've never seen anybody do one of these on a tumbler before. So I'm just kind of learning as I go and showing you guys different ways I am trying. So, um, this one's probably never going to see a sale. Because it's just, <laughs> I don't love it. So, um, yeah, there you go. All right, I've got this on the turner. And now that I'm looking at it, not under the ring light, but over in nat not natural lighting because it's getting dark out. But um, and actually, you can see where that corner is lifting big time. So I will have to address that but it's not actually as bad as I thought and it may not look as bad as I thought on camera anyways but it is actually quite pretty um I take back some of the things I said um but I think I would try yet another adhesive next time um because that adhesive was plenty dry I mean there's no way it wasn't but that might also be the corner I grabbed with the diamond dust on my fingers already, which may have played into it. Or not the diamond dust, the mica. So, because <clears throat> um, you can see as it goes around, the other side is flat to the cup. But, um, and definitely going to keep experimenting with these. They're kind of cheap enough that the only thing I'm really losing out on is the little bit of epoxy that I've used or whatever other product I've used. So, I'm going to keep trying because I am bound and determined that one of these is actually going to be what I would consider to be perfect. So that's it. Thanks for watching.